Avoid these options in your 2023 Corvette C8 mid-engine. Thank me later. Let's go. Howdy folks, you want to see going to Speed 252 show, scroll over to the right, click that subscribe button, and join this awesome community. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another episode of See Going to Speed 252. And I want to thank each and every one of you for pushing that play button today. I am so sorry for not releasing a video in the last 8 days. I have been busy filming in Atlanta on a movie and a short film and a TV series. My roles are very, very small in each one of those films and movies, but you know, you gotta start somewhere, so please bear with me. Um, once those movies and TV shows come out though, I will put those clips in future videos if my scenes doesn't get cut out. You know, as movies um, and TV shows and all that stuff get produced, just because they use you as an actor or anything related to background or whatever the case may be, they can still cut you out of the movie without telling you. So. I won't know if I actually make those movies or short films or TV shows until the movie or show is actually um, aired on TV or in a the movie theater. So with that being said, you guys, once again, if I can get that footage and I am actually in those series and movies, I will put them in the future videos for you guys to check them out and uh, support your friend. So with that being said, once again, thank you for pushing that play button. And if this is your first time stopping by, well, my name is Clarence and I would love for you to give this video a thumbs up. I would love to have this video pushed up in the algorithm as well. If you are new to this channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. Yes, become part of this awesome community. My goal is to have 30,000 followers by the end of this year. So I'm hoping to make that possibly happen. If you got an Instagram page, go over to Instagram, type in Speed 252 and follow me over there. If you'd like to check out some of my merch, please go to my website, which is www www.seagonespeed252.com I also have an acting Instagram page that I'm going to put up here pretty soon as well so if you want to go check that page out and follow that as well that'd be great also quick tip one of the movies that I'm actually considering being in um, they reached out to me and they said they possibly want to use one of my Corvettes so with that being said you guys it's possible one of my Corvettes may end up being in this movie I'll let you know what movie that is at some point once it comes out. Once again, they still made up using my car, but they still made up cutting it out of the film. So hopefully that will be something awesome. And once they do, um, once that movie airs, I'll let you guys know. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the 2023 C8 Corvette mid-engine, right? And I want to get you guys some information about some things you should add and shouldn't add to your C8 Corvette. Mostly things you should avoid in your 2023 C8 Corvette. Corvette. So with that being said, you guys, thank you for once again joining me today and being part of this upload. And once again, leave your comments down below if these items or something you already have in your Corvette or you're considering putting in your Corvette and things like that. Because you know I like to keep you updated on C8 Corvette information when the news come out. So as y'all may have heard, the rear park assist may not be available in your 2022s and some of your 2023 Corvettes. Obviously, you guys may know that is a chip issue that GM is having. A lot of companies are having chip issues right now. Toyota, Ford, a lot of those companies actually shut down some plants because of the chip issue. So as of right now, the rear park assist may not be inside of your 2022 and 2023 Corvette Z06. Now, that's not an option that you can avoid because that's just come standard and Chevrolet will most likely or will later on in the future once the chips become available decide to put that option in your Corvette in the future. So it's not something you have to avoid, but I just want to give you a heads up that that information is out there. One thing that you may not get in your Corvette Z06 or actually in your Steam Ray, depending on when the Z06 decides to come out, is the engine appearance package. Now here is a guy coming from me who got the engine appearance package in my C8 Corvette Steam Ray, my Z51. I personally do not believe it's worth the money. The engine appearance package is cool, yes. You get two LED lights and you get two carbon fiber pieces in the back. 
General Motors, I love you guys. I support the brand. I love Corvette. You guys know I do. But those two LED lights should have came with the car. I'm sorry. There is no excuse for why customers should have to pay a thousand bucks for two carbon fiber pieces and LED lighting. I know you got to get your money, but you got to paint that somewhere else because I don't think it's worth a thousand bucks. I got it in my car just trying to see what it was like. I will say if I decide to get a coupe Z06 in the future, I will not get the engine appearance package because I do not think it's worth it. There's a lot of aftermarket companies that can hook you up with some great parts. With that being said, I would not get the engine appearance package for one because I don't think it's worth the money. And if you do try to put it in your car, it's going to delay your C8 steam rate or your future 2023 Corvette Z06. So with that being said, avoid the engine appearance package. That's just my advice coming from one Corvette owner to hopefully future Corvette owners. Another thing that you will probably have to avoid, which I am so sad about, is the high wing. I end up getting a high wing on my steam rate because I really, really, really like the way the high wing looked. The high wing look on the C8 steam ray, my C8 steam ray was absolutely phenomenal. I have nothing bad to say about it. It brings out the rear end of that vehicle and it absolutely stands out for sure. Don't get me wrong, I do love the Z51 wing and I do love all the wing options that comes with the steam ray. But in my personal opinion, the high wing just sets it off for me. But unfortunately, the high wing is no longer available again. So if you decide to get the high wing on your Stingray, unfortunately, that will most likely delay your car because you can't order that as well. So if you already ordered a high wing on your car, you might want to talk to your dealership to see if that's something they can remove. Because if you have it, they will delay your car. And obviously, cars are already being delayed because of chip issues and the part shortage and things like that. So most likely you may be able to go on eBay or find some aftermarket companies who are making aftermarket wings. That way you're able to install it on your car at some point. Um, or, you know, wait till maybe the order banks open up for General Motors to offer high wings again so you can get one from them. But as of right now, I would avoid trying to add that part to your car because that will delay your car big time. One of the latest and the biggest news for the Stingray option that honestly, you know, if you're trying to get the Z51 package, you can't avoid this. Um, but honestly, it sucks. And you may not be able to get the Mag Ride. You know, the Mag Ride is not available for any of the Steam Rays at this time. Um, and I think that's also due to a chip issue. And I also do believe that General Motors are trying to save some of the chips possibly for the Z06. Who knows? I don't really know. I haven't asked any of the engineers about that. That's just a guess. It's just an assumption. And once again, that's just my opinion. Um, with that being said, though, I have driven both a non Mad Rat C8 Stingray and a Mag Rat C8 Stingray. My C8 Stingray has Mad Rat, and I went to Corvette World a long time ago and I drove a C8 without Mag Rat. I'm gonna be honest with you, they somewhat drive similar. The only time when I feel like it drove different is when it was in sport mode for both vehicles. At the end of the day, Mag Ride is a nice thing to have, absolutely. But if it's your first time owning a Corvette, you most likely will not feel or understand the purpose of Mag Ride, if I'm being completely honest with you. And let's be honest, the cars are so brand new, right? The C8 Stingray is so brand new that the Mag Ride definitely is a great option to have, but the car isn't gonna drive terrible without Mag Ride either. Like, I literally, truly enjoy driving the car without Mag Ride too. So I don't think it's something that you're gonna miss out on. So I will say this, if you're interested in getting Mad Ride, you will have to wait on your car a little while longer. If you decide not to get Mad Ride in your vehicle, then I think you'll be okay. I think you'll be okay with going forward with getting a C8 Corvette without Mad Ride. In my personal opinion, I am, you guys know, selling my C8 Corvette Stingray, and I may end up getting another Stingray, and I may end up getting a convertible without Mad Ride, to be quite honest with you. I want to experience what it's like having a C8 Corvette without Mad Ride. My first Corvette Grand Sport had Mad Ride on it, and my C8 Stingray had Mad Ride on it. So I may end up ordering a C8 Corvette convertible without Mad Ride. Once again, to experience it, I also want to experience owning a convertible. I have never owned a convertible in my life. I own a coupe, you can take the top off. You do get the best of both worlds, you get to save money, but you do lose that space. And for me, I want to experience owning a convertible at some point. So I may, I may, there's no guarantees, but I may end up ordering a convertible Stingray at some point in the future, if I can afford it and if things are going well with the chip issues. I also heard that banks 
Orderman Banks may open up March 31st for 2023 C8 Stingrays. I haven't heard anything yet regarding the Z06s. I received some messages from Instagram, on YouTube, and emails about anything regarding the C8 Z06 and pricing and ordering banks. I haven't heard anything like that. Yes, I am friends with engineers, but I don't ask them questions about the Z06 because honestly, they're not allowed to tell me. Like, I understand that. Just like, for instance, one of the movies that I'm a part of right now. I'm literally not allowed to talk about it. They literally took my cell phone and locked it away, made sure I didn't take any pictures, made sure I didn't take any videos. And you know, there's movie production companies out there that don't want you to take any pictures because they don't want you to leak photos or anything of the movie before it comes out. So, I mean, once again, General Motors are the same. They're not allowed to tell me any information because they don't want things getting leaked. So with that being said, you guys, I don't know exactly when the Z06 is coming out, nor the pricing, but be ready for when it comes out. Once again, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being patient with me for not releasing videos due to uh, me acting right now. I'm actually about to go to set here in about uh, an hour or two, so I want to get a video out to you guys. Once again, definitely hit that subscribe button. Become part of this awesome community. Become part of this journey. I am literally want to become an actor, you guys, and take you guys on a journey with me. So once again, thank you for being part of this channel. Definitely hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you again in another episode. The Z06 was a code for a trash.